the Black Panther video game is underneath the umbrella of Electronic Arts through Cliffhanger Games. And they have this woman named Danielle LaLaunders working on it. And Danielle is a very strange individual. I think that she is probably probably thinks that what she's saying isn't racist, but it is racist. She said she didn't want to hire white people on a previous project because um, she doesn't feel safe around them. You know, that old thing where, where words are violence. Now, she was very kind of, you know, picky with what she said, but this was during a Developers of Color Expo. That's a weird thing. Developers of Color Expo. Let's go ahead and see what she said team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Mm. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, And I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe on- but you know when say I'm not saying this, but safe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something made okay, but it was really a microaggression, and no one wants to deal with that while they are trying to make a game that they love. She thought that was a big moment because she forgot the word some be something may be okay. That's really weird. That's really um. That's a weird thing to say. Replace it with another race. Let's say, um, I don't want to work with Japanese people, somebody says, because they make me feel uncomfortable. That's weird. You know? Uh, but uh, Or Asian, you can say. That's not the only thing she said either. And I want to go back to what she said earlier in that, uh, in that talk. And then we'll get to the game that she was actually referring to, which is a really weird game. She's not referring to Black Panther, but she is working on Black Panther. She's non-binary, by the way. I want to point that one out too, is that she identifies as non-binary. But this is a chapter from that same, you know, what is it called? Game devs of color. So weird. <laughs> Let's celebrate people based on the color of their skin. Oh, very edgy and cool, you guys. Um, this is a chapter called white centric industry and she you know explains you know white people eh, you know <laughs> is a lot of work but honestly looking back at it i wish i kind of knew how to do this before i actually went into it because there is not a lot of guides of how to get started with your game and the guys that do exist are very white centric uh. i'm going to say that because i'm not afraid anymore it is very much you need to know someone in the industry you need to be able to talk to people in the industry and you need to be able to understand um how the industry works how who will favor you etc i am clearly not a white person i'm clearly not a white man. Oh, I see. She's not a white man, you guys. Um, we'll, we'll save it. I'm a black non-binary woman. Um, so it was pretty difficult for me because a lot of people did not take me seriously when I first joined the industry, which I think is kind of crazy because I'm making a game just like everyone else, so why wouldn't you take me seriously? Okay, here's the hard truth, uh, Danielle. The reason people aren't taking you seriously is because... You have a septum piercing. You're an adult woman with a septum piercing. You claim to be non-binary. You're calling people racist because they don't want to work with you. And, you know, the logic here that people don't want to work with you just because you're black is you, you need you need to prove that with some sort of evidence. Because if I said to I went, if I said I went to Japan and, and I said they didn't want to work with me on video games because I'm white. I would need to be like, do they do they talk in Japanese all the time around me, even though they speak English? Do they point and laugh at me? Do they say, hey, white boy, and then they laugh? What does she experience other than this idea that she is of a marginalized, you know, space here in the video game industry? I'm going to break some news for you guys uh, here on this podcast. Video gamers, like hardcore gamers, they're not racist. Hardcore gamers tend to be more nerds. There is not room in a hardcore gamer's day for discrimination based on the color of your skin. 
Citation number one. You can't usually see the person who you're playing against. Maybe they have an accent. Maybe you can kind of tell their background by hearing their voice. But I have played many a game where you have no idea where the person's from. Besides maybe their flag. That does not tell you that they're, what their racial background is. Um, you know, gamers may swear at you. They may make jokes about your mom. They may even say racist things. But it's to whomever they are playing against, no matter their background. And I'm sick and tired of people, and this has happened before, I'm sick and tired of people picking on the nerdy ones or the people who are shyer or the people who are not going to say anything because it's easier to get where they want to be that way. Now, if you're in a business setting, I understand that. If, if people are just like, well, I don't want to put myself out there and you're just like, well, I'm trying to make money here and this is business and we're going to be cutthroat. That's one thing. But if you're just going to say, hey, people are racist and therefore give me a job, that's called being a loser. And you need to come up with a better way to, you know, make your mark on the world other than accusing people of being mean to you. Because we come we come back to this a lot of times where it's like my mark in the world is based on me getting people in trouble for them being mean to me. And you have to sort of take a step back and be like, who are these people? Who are they talking about? In some cases, it's girls on a swim team, right? A guy takes advantage of girls on a swim team who are too nice and maybe should stand up for themselves to a bit more and he takes their spot on the swim team name your sport or a girl takes advantage of a guy like when and see aziz ansari a comedian who's who's small and like kind of kind of weird and she says that guy sexually harassed me or in these cases where people say oh gamers are this and that as if gamers they want gamers to be a chad caricature basically a white guy with a shaved side haircut shaved on the side flicked slick back on top who's sitting there he's muscular he's doing hgh in one arm he's drinking you know a 6.6 percent beer in the other arm he hates women he hates minorities that's who they want gamers to be it's just not okay it's not <laughs> it's not who they are you can try and try again but never in my life have i heard heard uh you know any sort of significant amount of gamers come out and be like, we uh, we dis- we would prefer to discriminate against people based on their race, and we need to shut the door on them. That's just not how it works. Now, I want to talk about this game she worked on, because we're talking about how, you know, she was kept out, and she said sh- she decided she wanted to hire only black people for the game that she was working on. And the name of the game that she came up with, guys, Prepare yourselves. It's called Validate. Struggling singles in your area. Validate is a romance visual novel and dating simulator developed and published by Veritable Joy Studios. The game follows 13 characters as they navigate love, friendship, adulthood in Jersey City. Now they have these plots that they're following these daters. And who are the daters do you have? A Popeyes manager. I'm just going to say what they really mean because I don't work for them. Uh, It's a 26-year-old Popeyes manager who's a rapper. A 27-year-old theater teacher who lives with her home and she's being smothered. A 25-year-old Instagram chef who is insecure. And then the best one, Amari, a 28-year-old bi-gender mom of two, an HR specialist trying to ignore his, um, his immense baggage while dating and being a parent. This is the reason why people don't want to work with you. You created weird content of virtual dating for with... Only black people, it, it seems like. We're going to we'll bring this picture back up. Maybe this guy's white. Can't tell. Can't tell. But this is the game you came up with, with by bi- gender guy moms or something. And you're just like, why won't people respect my work? <laughs> it's unbelievable. I, my, I created a bi gender dating game and you don't respect my work. But she didn't just, she couldn't just cope and seize seize maybe she did seethe she couldn't cope with the fact that people didn't like her game she then seethed (laughs) is it because i'm black i mean it probably is but you know what i mean like it kind of just sucks that people saw me and they're just like whatever we're not going to take her her seriously but if a white man made validate it would be effing everywhere maybe that would have been just where we left off like am i is it because i'm black i mean it probably is but like you know you know what i mean like it's just it kind of sucks that like (laughs) It kind of sucks that people saw me and they're just like, 
whatever. We're not going to take her seriously. But if someone makes, if a white man may validate, it would be fucking everywhere. That game would be everywhere. <laughs> you could see the delusion in her eyes. The game would not be everywhere. It's a game about dating with a bi gender mother. It's over. Like, it's, it was not a good idea. Move on. You're working on Black Panther now. You still have time to turn it around and not be weird and racist. Um, and not say, I don't want to be around white people because they might be, you know, di- different and look different from you. That's really weird. But, Danielle, there's still time to turn it around. You can still respond to my email. We can have a chat on in this format where I'll be nicer than I am when I'm speaking to the camera. And I'll let you speak, and then maybe I'll laugh at the weird stuff you say. No promises. Turn it up, Jordan.